Hey twirlers, welcome back. Today we're gonna learn how to do a figure eight. The figure eight is the basis of more advanced moves in baton, like the finger twirls you see me doing here, mixed in with the figure eight. I want you to start this move like all the others I've taught you so far. Baton will be in your right hand thumb to ball, free hand on your hip, and feet in a right tee. Start this move by dropping the big end of the baton to the left side of your body in a circle motion. The baton will then come back to the center and then you will dip the big end of the baton to the right side of your body in a circular motion. An easy way to describe what you need to do is to imagine you have a tub of chocolate ice cream on the left side of your body and a big empty bowl on your right side. You want to make sure you get a big scoop of chocolate ice cream on the left side and then drop it all into your bowl on the right side. Now that you have the picture in your head, let's get a bit more technical. Look at how my palm points down when the baton is on my left side and up when it's on my right side. This is the basic move of the twirl. To get it looking faster and cleaner, pinch the baton with your thumb and index finger. This will allow the baton to move more freely in your hands. Make sure your arm isn't moving so much. Let your wrist do most of the work. You want to make sure the baton does a complete circle on both sides. Watch it in slow motion. The figure eight requires a lot of wrist flexibility, but with practice, it will begin to look a lot smoother like mine. Now let's practice the figure eight in our left hand with our right hand on our hip and our feet in a left tee. Let's start by practicing the basic movement. This time the arm will start by dropping to the right side and then the left. The palm will be facing down on the right side and up on the left side. To get this twirl looking smoother and faster, pinch the baton with your thumb and index finger and let your wrist do the work. Try not to move your arm a lot. Here's the twirl in slow motion. There you have it twirlers, that's how you do a figure eight in your right and left hand. This twirl will eventually lead to more difficult twirls, so get outside and start practicing. Also, make sure you like and subscribe so you can keep learning how to twirl a baton with me. Feel free to post a video response and I will give you feedback about your progress or just comment below and I'll respond back as soon as I can. And as always guys, thanks for watching. See you on the flip side.